Hello everybody, this is Joe from GeoVision. This demo video will serve as an overview of the GVI mobile application. This video will focus on the iOS version of the GVI app. GVI is a mobile application that allows users to remotely view live and playback video and is a free download from both the Apple and Android app stores. GVI allows users to display anywhere from 2 to 16 cameras per page and have up to 6 pages that a user can swipe through for additional camera views. The group management feature allows users to divide camera amongst different groups and be able to bring up cameras by group. The user can have up to 100 groups in GVI and each group can support 6 pages of 16 cameras max. First, I would like to show how to add a host in GVI. When a user first opens GVI, there will be a blank grid with a plus sign displaying. To have the ability to add cameras, we first must add a host, which is a connection to a GeoVision VMS system, multi-cam system, recording server system, GV SNVR series system, or a direct connection to an IP camera. To add a host, click on the icon in the top left-hand corner that looks like three lines. Then you will click on the plus sign in the top right-hand corner. You will need to give your host a name. I will just call this one demo. And then you will enter in the external IP address of your GeoVision system. The default web port is 80, and the default mobile viewing port is 56,000. You will then want to type in your ID and password from your GeoVision system. And the last very important step is to hit the get information icon. Once you do this, it will query your system and see how many cameras you have available to add. And you do have the ability to check or uncheck which cameras you want to add into the GeoVision mobile application. You can just simply put a check mark next to the cameras that you want to have access to. Once you do that, hit the save icon in the top right hand corner and you have now added in that camera or cameras into the mobile application. The next step is you will want to hit the live icon in the top left hand corner and this will bring you back to your grid where you can add in cameras. To do this, you can just simply click on one of the plus signs and then click on the camera that you want to add in for live viewing. Once you have access to cameras, you can full screen a camera just by tapping on it. And you do have the ability to view a camera in full screen in both the portrait and the landscape orientation if you turn your phone sideways. If you'd like to zoom in on a camera, you can just take two fingers and pinch to zoom. And then you can drag your finger around on the screen to be able to look around at your camera's view. Take your two fingers and pinch out, and that will give you the ability to go back in the full overview shot of the camera. Now, if you notice in the bottom corner, in the bottom of the uh, camera view bar, you have a menu there with several icons. The red circle icon on the bottom left allows you to trigger recording. The speaker icon, if you click on that and you have a microphone either built into the camera or an external microphone connected, you can hear audio from the camera. The HD icon is turned on by default. And what this does is put your camera in full HD resolution. The PIP icon allows you to toggle to have a picture in picture view in the bottom left. So when you zoom your camera, you still have the ability to see a picture in picture full overview shot in the bottom left. The I slash O icon, it stands for inputs and outputs. This allows you to trigger physical input and output devices that you may have wired to your camera, such as a siren or a strobe light, for example. The 360 degree and 180 degree icons, we will get into a little bit later when we focus on fisheye 360 degree cameras. If you'd like to view playback footage, you can click on the film strip icon in the bottom right. And this will bring up the motion timestamped events for today by default. You can scroll through and see your different motion events. If you would like to jump to a different date, you can click on the calendar icon in the top right hand corner. And then just simply click on the date that you want to view video from. You can choose up to five clips that you would like to play back just by checking on them. 
and then you will hit the play icon up in the top right and you will automatically start seeing the first clip playback. Now you can pause the video and you can pinch to zoom and drag to look around your scene if you would like. If you notice on the bottom right there is a 1x icon. You can click on this and you can adjust your playback speed. So if you'd like to speed up or slow down your playback speed, you can select it there. On the bottom left hand corner, there is a camera icon. This allows you to take a snapshot and save it to your camera roll. The PIP icon allows you to bring up the picture in picture window. The icon just to the right of the PIP allows you to hide your menu. So that way you can have access to your picture in picture view. You can click the orientation to flip and turn and view sideways if you would like. And then again, the 360 degree icon, we will get into a little bit later in the video. To return, just click the back button in the top left and then hit the back arrow again and you're back in your live view. We will go back to our full grid here. I would now like to talk about the group management feature. If you click on the three lines icon in the top left, this brings you back to your um, host screen and you can click on where it says new group and you'll see a menu come down. This is where you have access to add in groups and create group management. First, you will click on the group management at the bottom and you can click add new group and you can see a new group has been added. If you click the arrow over icon next to the group, this is where you can set up how many cameras you want to display on each page. To do this, you would simply click on the grid and then you will see a toggle option on the bottom where you can slide through and select how many cameras you would like to display on the screen. Once you get each page set how you like, you can hit done and hit OK. And then that group management is set up. To toggle again between different groups, just click on the top where it says new group. And I will select the general group now as I have more access to various cameras here. And then you can click your live icon in the top left to be able to view the cameras. Now, if you have a fisheye 360 degree camera on your phone, I would like to show how you can manipulate the view and do what's called fisheye camera de-warping. To do that, you will scroll down on or scroll over on your menu and you will click on the 180 degree icon and you will see that it will break it up into a de-warped view. In this view, you have a panorama of the entire scene on the bottom and then two quadrants that you can independently control by pan, tilt, and zoom. You can just simply take one finger to drag to look around and up and down and then two fingers to be able to zoom in. If you'd like to change to a different de-warped mode, you can click on the icon down on the bottom just to the right of the circle and you'll get a menu that comes up that allows you to select different de-warping modes. You can have a dual 180 degree de-warp, a quad view where each quadrant you can pan, tilt, and zoom. And then the one labeled as PTZ, this is a single view that allows you again to pan, tilt, and zoom. Now, if your fisheye camera is wall mounted, you will want to click on the icon that looks like a cube and you will want to select the wall mount position, which is in the middle. Most fisheye cameras are mounted on the ceiling, so you will leave it on the first option. But if you do have a wall mounted fisheye, that's where you would want to change that. This has been an overview video of the GeoVision GVI mobile application. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.